everybody and welcome back to another video. Now as you all know and as you would have gathered by this title, it was my birthday on Friday. So yeah, I'm going to film a little haul um, of what I got for my birthday just because I love these types of videos. Give me two seconds while I go and sort the cat out. Where was I? So yeah. As I was saying, I love doing these videos and I love watching these videos just because they're so good to give other people ideas on what to get people, for, like your friends, your family for Christmas, like on birthdays. Um, and I love watching them because then I'm like, oh, I like that. Maybe I, that's a gift idea for somebody or for myself. Um, so yeah, I am now out of breath because I've just packed it back up the stairs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go into it. I don't know if I'm going to do an order or not, um, just because it's all just been shoved down there. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, let's have a go. Okay, so if you hear a cat pining in the background, then I'm very sorry. Well, I brought him in here and we've got a project projector screen up for Christmas um, that obviously shines Santa for and stuff and they've torn it like he's climbed up and just ripped it so I now need to fix that after I do this video so if you hear a cat that is exactly the reason why because I can't have him in here because he'll just trash that <laughs> anyway um, I sort of organised it into like food, clothing, smellies and other little bits so I'm just going to go in with the clothes first Honestly, Gary, <laughs> so the first thing I got was these pyjamas, these were from the kids, they're super soft pyjamas, these are from Primark, um, now I picked um, this from the kids, um, I wanted a loungewear set, um, but I couldn't really find any that were like decent in Primark, um, so I just got these super soft pyjamas because they sort of like have the look and the feel of like loungewear, um, so yeah, the, the only thing that's like really annoying with this haul is that I've only just managed to film it today and it's now Wednesday so it's been what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's been five days since my birthday so nothing has been touched for five days and yeah, it's been really hard and kind of awful at the same time because people are like, oh have you done this and oh have you tried this on yet and you've done this and I'm like, no, I haven't done anything yet because I've been waiting to film this haul. So yeah, this is the first thing I got from the kids. The second thing that I got was these um, Disney earrings. Again, these are from the kids. I picked them out, um, hence why the price is still on there. There is a pair missing, so I did wear a pair for when we went out for our meal on Friday. Um, but yeah, just cute little Disney earrings, just because I'm a Disney gal. The next thing I got were from my sister and I got some more slippers. I asked for slippers every single year for Christmas and my birthday just because they're them sort of item of clothing that do not last. Um, so yeah, they are memory foam. <laughs> Again, not tried them on, not done anything with them, still got the tags on and things. Um, so yeah, finally can't wait to get my feet into these. And they're actually machine washable, which is great. It's what you want for a pair of slippers. The next thing. The next thing I got was a snuddy. This is from my dad. So as the winter months are coming up, I just wanted a big soft snuddy to keep me warm. And honestly, I have worn this at home because it's just been luscious in like this massive temperature drop that we've had and obviously it's a one size fits all even Kieran has worn it um not like worn it worn it but he wanted to try it and he absolutely adores it so that'll be a Christmas gift for Kieran I do believe um so yeah it just keeps you warm at night I uh, sit in it when I'm sort of like in bed and watching I'm a celeb at night and obviously on the sofa so that's another one that I got
The next thing I got is my coat, which you'd have all have seen on hung up on my door for my on my birthday vlog. Um, this again was from Primark. Um, again, I chose it. Um, when I went to Steps, I said to Kieran, I was like, I'll go to Primark and I'll pick some bits up for my birthday from the kids. So that's exactly what I did. Um, now, I wanted a nice long coat that um, when I start working back in the office and obviously going out, I can look smart in. Because um, I don't have a coat that doesn't look smart, if that makes sense, for like an office job. Um, so yeah, and I, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. This is a meant to be a mid-length coat. Um, but on me, it's obviously a long coat. Because as you know, being four foot nothing. And it's so comfortable and it's so warm um, and I love it and it literally although it's pink it literally goes with anything and I don't take it off what else I do but again that's something else that I've been wearing again to go with my coat I bought um well I didn't buy myself but I picked out this scarf well actually my friends picked out this scarf because they was like oh we need to go find your scarf that'll go with your coat um, so my friends picked out this scarf to go with my coat and it really does go really nicely with my coat. I love all the neutral tones of it. So yeah, that's in the little accessory. The other thing that I got, though, these are from my dad. Um, again, I sort of ask for shoes and trainers and things every year just because, you know, what else can a girl ask for <laughs> other than shoes? And he got me these Puma um, trainers. I have worn these um, just because I wanted to make sure that they fit in things. And honestly, they are the softest and most comfortablest shoes I've ever had on my feet. They honestly feel like I am walking on a like a bed of feathers. They are so comfortable. And they've also got a bit of height to them as well. So yeah it sort of freezes me up a little bit off the floor which is always good so yeah i got them off of my dad i was very shocked he actually let me have puma just because he's a knott's forest fan and derby tend to wear puma i remember once my mum bought me some puma football boots for school and he went mad um but yeah i love them i never i normally go for um, like Nike gazelles and stuff but I couldn't find any that I liked whereas these I absolutely love because they go with my coat and they go with my scarf I can't shut the box now why can't I shut the box who knows let's just pop them over there so the next thing I got was from my nan um, and my nan bless her little heart got me the Airwick Maud blind with clementine and spice in it um I love getting gifts like this for the simple fact of I don't have to put these on my shopping list and I don't have to pay for them <laughs> um so yeah I already have one of these in my hallway downstairs and I actually wanted to get another one for my living room but now I don't have to because my nan did that for me um she also got me two refills as well she got me the merry marshmallow and raspberry marshmallow raspberry rose so that's them ones so yeah i'm actually kind of glad my nan got me these because like i say this was going to go on my shopping list anyway but it saved me money i don't have to buy these now the next thing that i got was from Kieran just as a little something was this indulging honey and chocolate glade candle because again who doesn't love getting candles and smellies for your birthday and it smells divine I'm so excited to get this lit um this will probably be lit up here in the bedroom just because I like my Christmas scents downstairs now at this time of year um so yeah, the honey and chocolate will definitely be lit up here and it just smells so, so good. The next thing I got, which is from my mum and I'm absolutely so happy about, um, is, and I don't know if any of you have heard of him, he's called Adam Hatton and he is a Disney vlogger and my mum got me the Adam Hattle, Adam Hattle, 
God, I kind of want to go say candle. Adam Hatton holiday apple pie candle. And oh my goodness me. I am so, so happy that she got me one of these for my birthday because these are very pricey. Um, because obviously they're all handmade and things like that. And obviously he's got his own small little business as well as obviously on top of his YouTube channel. Um, so I didn't think that she was going to get me one, but oh my God, I'm so glad that she did. She played it safe and got me the apple pie because obviously the problem is with getting a candle offline, you don't know if you're going to like the scent. Um, and it just smells like apple and cinnamon and it's so Christmassy. Let me just move forward on my chair. So it's a very big candle and it's got three wicks in it. Um, so, I mean, I've got small hands anyway, but the candle's like the same size as my hand near enough. Um, but it smells so good and I'm generally so thrilled that I've got it. And I'm just going to say that I'm still three. Three? <laughs> no, I'm not three. Thrilled. Um, so it is vegan friendly. It's also cruelty free and it's handmade in the United Kingdom. So, yeah. I'm just so excited to light this, even though part of me doesn't want to light it, but also I'm really hyped to light it. So that's that. Sticking with the smellies, the next thing I got, which again I'm so excited to try, is this Japanese Cherry Blossom Creamy Lux Hand Soap. And this is from Bath & Body Works. Again, if you don't know what Bath & Body Works, it is a huge shop in America that obviously does Bath & Body stuff. Um, and it is extremely popular. And I'm on a group called It's Orlando Time and this is all anybody goes on about. Um, so yeah, again, I'm so excited. I've not actually smelt it yet, so let's just smelt us together. Oh my God, that smells so, so good. And I'm so excited. Again, I don't want to use it. I sort of just want to put it in my bathroom as a display. But then again, part of me does want to use it because why would you get a hand soap and not use it? Um, but yeah, that's the other one. I, oh, I love it. <laughs> the next thing I got was again, I picked this out for myself. Hence why I still got the price on and stuff from Primark. I got this Pink Blossom Body Mist. Um, again, I have been actually using this just because I needed some more because I completely ran out just before my birthday. Um, and it says it's a truly addictive fragrance with a burst of peach and orange flower on a bed of warm milk with a hint of feminine musk. And honestly, this was £3.50. It says it was made in Greece. £3.50. Oh my goodness, Primark are so good for their fragrances. I've never smelled something so amazing in my life, like, and it literally sticks as well. But I love the smell of it, and it's so cheap, and yeah, I've been using it all day, and like all day, every day since my birthday, and that much has I don't know if you can see, like that much has come out of the bottle. <coughs> the next thing I got again was from Primark, and this was their perfume. This is the Pink Blossom and Water Lily. Again, I've been using this every single day and it doesn't even look like it's been touched. Um, again, this smells so good. I can't remember the price on this just because I've thrown the box. Um, but again, great scent and I can smell it on my clothes for ages. Normally with women's perfume, you literally spray it. You walk outside and that's it. It's gone, whereas men's really sticks. But with these two fragrances, I've noticed they completely stick to the point of I put on my dress, jumper dress yesterday and then I whacked it again on this morning uh, just to take Lexi to nursery quickly before obviously getting properly dressed. Um, and the scent is still there from both of these and it still smells divine. The next thing I got was from my sister and that is the Brianna Nude. Um, perfume I haven't in the box but I'm gonna open it. Um I love this scent so so much. Um I've always liked the Rihanna collection when it comes to perfumes and it's just one of them ones that's like a, my comfort um perfume because it just smells divine. So 
she got me the big bottle of it so however the box is extremely deceiving because you'll see in a minute but that's the bottle <laughs> that's, and that's the box um but yeah and and it doesn't even get filled up right up to the top either which is even more annoying and this is where it gets filled up to so they've like lost all of that that could have been perfume which is kind of annoying but again it's one of my favorite perfumes um because i find that things like dior and chanel and things like that i find a really no offense if you wear it but they're just not my cup of tea because to me they smell they smell too grannyfied in my opinion um whereas these obviously i don't know what it smells like It has more like of a sweet smell to it. Um, obviously some people don't like sweet smells, but obviously I, I do and we're all entitled to our own opinion. So that's just my opinion. So yeah, this is the 100ml bottle. That's that thing. Oh, I'm falling off my chair. The next thing I got was from Kieran and it is a mini tripod. This is for my phone. So now I can stop complaining about my arm aching. Again, I picked this off of Amazon and yeah, it's, I've not used it yet. As you can tell, it's still all it's wrapping and things. Um, but it's just so I can hold my phone like this instead of me holding it like I do, um, just ache all the time. Um, obviously at the moment you are on my ring light which is fine for sit down videos but when i'm vlogging obviously i much prefer to be comfortable with my arms so yeah i got that it was from amazon because like, so i just added it into the amazon basket and ordered it and then said to kieran oh wrap this up for my birthday please um so yeah that's another thing that i got moving on to the food section uh, the first thing that I got was from my friend. Uh, it was these Monte Bojangles, I'm going to say. Flutterscotch. So this is butterscotch and sea salt cocoa dusted truffles. And she says that these are amazing. I'm yet to try them. Um, so, yeah. She says that they're really good. But like I said, I'm yet to try them. And I'm not even going to attempt to open them on camera because it, I think it'll take me forever, I do believe. I try. Oh no, never mind. I've done it. Oh, I've done that to try and see if you can see inside it, but you can't because it just comes in this little packaging here. But I love the box. Oh, please need to open that when it literally has a picture of them on the side. You can see that because my ring light is very thingy there we go yeah that's them so i've just tried to undo that for no reason but yeah i'm excited to try these now that i've finally shown them on the vlog <laughs> the next thing i got my dad got me is some turkish delight i'm a sucker for turkish delight some people will be like oh you like turkish delight you weirdo because obviously a lot of people think it tastes like perfume um so you got me the rose and lemon flavor turkish delight um, and this is without like just the normal sugar coated one. I'm not a fan of the lemon, but I do love the rose. Um, so I'll probably give Kieran the lemon. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to dive into these. I remember being at my nanny's house and my granddad had just passed away. And we were sorting through all of his things. And there was a box of unopened Turkish Delight that he had obviously in date. And that's the first time that I tried it. And it was proper Turkish Delight. It wasn't even Turkish Delight in chocolate. Um... So it always give, brings me back a little memory of that moment me and my nanny shared of me trying Turkish Delight. Um, to you guys that might sound weird but obviously my nanny is also no longer with us. Um, so yeah Turkish Delight just brings back a little bit of a memory to me. The next thing I got was from Kieran was this Hogwarts chocolate castle. Um, I do believe these are, well it's not a, I do believe it tells us here. These are from, these are actually from M&S. Um, last year at Christmas we got a sorting hat um, each just because they were on offer so we was like oh, we'll get one of them to try them and it was so good like 
it was that really nice rich chocolate that literally just melted in your mouth um so yeah he got me the hogwarts castle for my birthday and i'm excited to try that again though it's chocolate that i don't want to eat and i want to just store um but yeah that's another thing and let's be honest my birthday wouldn't be my birthday unless i got my chocolates that i asked for for christmas my birthday every single year and that obviously is my gillians so from kieran i got this this was in a gold wrapping like a really nice wrapping um but i had to give in and just have some um and obviously while i've been working i've been like nitpicking at them and um, this was a two tier one so this had oh, doesn't tell me hang on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one wait no one two three four five six seven eight 11 22 chocolates this one had oh god i don't know why that took me forever to work that out so yeah that was just in this little two tier box here the next one i got is the belgian deluxe one this is 35 so this has the seashells in it um as well as like the other ones um but yeah oh i just love my gillians as long as i get these i'm, I'm happy <laughs> i could literally have nothing and have like a box of gillians and i'd be well away and then the next one i got is just the 32 here of just the seashells so yeah that's my gillians topped up again the next thing that i got was from my friend and this is build so obviously as you know i am a disney freak like i said earlier love disney i've been to florida three times i'm looking at going to paris soon um i'm just quoting it up and stuff and just looking at when the right time would be to go um, and my friend bought me this um it's a build your own disneyland so you can build your very own model of disneyland oh my gosh i am so so excited to try this so it's like welcome to disneyland and you've got tomorrowland adventureland star wars galaxy edge New Orleans Square and Critter Corner Country even. And then Mickey's to Toontown and then it just says build your own Disney model. So begin by slotting the backdrop onto the base as shown and then slot backdrop left and backdrop right onto the base and connect to the main backdrop piece. So you've got like Main Street and stuff. So this is based on Disneyland California, obviously which I've never been to. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so excited to do this. Um, I, I, again i've not opened it um what everything that i need is in this section here um but yeah i'm so excited to sit down and do this when i'm when i'm bored when william's gone to sleep and i'll have like my hours break and stuff from work um but yeah it even has facts in it as well which is great little did you knows that's so good. I love it when things like this, and it tells you all about it as well, like each section. So I can't wait to have a read of it as well as build my own Disneyland. So the next thing I got were just some little uh, householdy bits. So the first thing I got, it's got juice in it already, some water in it, um, was this Mickey Mouse um, little tumbler from Kieran. And then I also got this mug from my friend that says 24 on it. And it says, your 20s can be a time full of firsts with your first new car, your first credit card, your first loan and your first taste of debt. <laughs> and yeah, there's just adulting in a nutshell with this. Um, but yeah, I love it. Such a cute little mug. And then I also got from Kieran which I'm so surprised Kieran actually got me quite a few things, bearing in mind that he paid for my hair for me for my birthday, but he turned around and said to me that he goes and gets his hair done, obviously like every other week, and when it needs cutting. Me, however, because I always want it, like, because I want it coloured and things like that, I hardly ever go get my hair done. I get my hair trimmed by his mum, because obviously his mum used to be a hairdresser, so I just get my hair trimmed by his mum every so often. But I never get anything actually done to my hair. So he said that because I never get that and things, he said that 
you know, it doesn't matter, that doesn't have to be for my birthday. Um, but he, so he also got me this, and oh my god, I'm so in love with it. So obviously, as I keep saying, I'm a Disney freak, I'm a Disney nerd, and I love Disney, but my ultimate favourite Disney movie is Beauty and the Beast, um, just because I love the concept of it, with the fact of it literally, it just proves to you that looks don't matter. Obviously he then does turn into a handsome prince, which kind of defeats the object, but obviously she falls in love with a hideous beast, so that's why I like it. Um, and he bought me the Pandora ring, Beauty and the Beast rose ring, and oh my goodness me, it is so beautiful. Um, if you can't see that properly, I will link a picture um, up. I don't know if it's going to focus um and yeah I just absolutely love it when I first saw it I was like oh, that's such a small ring size but I put it on my finger and perfect fit so yeah I don't know if that helps you see it any better but literally I love it and I haven't took it off since um I've actually put it on upside down I mean I haven't put it on upside down because there's no right away but from what I wear it I'll put it on upside down. I don't know if any of you are aware, but me and Kieran are very much board game freaks. We love playing board games. Our friend John and Zena, um, well, me and Kieran used to like playing board games anyway, but since being friends with John and Zena, we have literally broadened our range of board games. We now like the board games that you find in the Big Bang Theory and like what you see at like comic cons and stuff like that. Um, so me and Kieran have really broadened our mind with board games. We love playing them just because it gives us two quality time together at night time. Um, we'll just sit and play a board game together. And I can't wait to obviously then, when the kids get older, every Saturday night, we have like a family board game night where we'll grab a takeaway or something or just have a quick easy dinner and then sit and play a board game with, with a, like just us four. And I generally cannot wait to start that as a tradition for the family for every Saturday night while the kids like when the kids are a little bit older. Um so yeah let's just show you what I got board game wise my birthday. So the first thing I got was from my mum and this is called Escape Room the game. Now this has three exciting escape rooms and introductory game. So I can escape the Titanic which I am a massive Titanic um lover. I love every bit of history about the Titanic I don't know why um because obviously it was a massive tragedy but I am obsessed with it I when I cannot sleep at night I will go on Google um Google uh, YouTube and look up facts and artifacts of Titanic and things um because I'm just so interested in the Titanic uh the next thing is Alice in Wonderland so again it's got a bit of Disney in there and then the next one is Dawn of the Zombies um, and it says this is 60, you've got 60 minutes to escape. Um, now I love escape rooms because I've been to the ones at um, the pier in Skegness. I did the Harry Potter version. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Um, and I do believe it's a, oh, so it's a three to five player. So I need to find a third person to play it with. Um, but I'm sure that won't be an issue. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to uh, try this and try and escape all three of these rooms. Now the next thing I got was from Kieran. Um, this is called Attack of the Jelly Monsters. This is a game that we played with John and, Z and Zena. Sorry, the cellophane is coming off. This is a game that we played with John and Zena. This is just a quick, quirky little game um, that if you just want a quick... 15 minute game then you just use this one my ring light's really doing my head and there we go um so yeah this is a um let's have a look we have played it before but I, I played it probably about like a month ago so i can't exactly remember off the top of my head um but basically be clever and hustle your way to victory by collect collecting the most jelly become the best jelly squad um so yeah this is a 8 plus game, as in like the age 8 plus, and this again is 3 to 5 players. I keep picking games up that are for 3 to 5 players, which is really annoying because also me and Kieran are only 2 of us. Um, so yeah, that's another one. 
Now I got some money from Sharon and Richard, obviously Kieran's mum and dad, um, so I thought what better way to spend the money would be on a couple of board games for me and Kieran. Um, so this is what I have been waiting for as well to film this, I've been waiting for these to come so then I could show you um, what else I bought with my birthday money just because I would prefer to spend it on the board games like I say because it's things me and Kieran get to do together and when the kids grow up instead of buying it on more clothes or shoes or something that's just gonna take up room in the house whereas obviously the board games we play so the first thing that I first one that I got is space space again I have used we have played with this played this with John and Zena and this is a two plus player game um, and it's also ages 14 and up um, obviously the ages aren't exactly um, like you don't have to stick to them ages um, but yeah I, this is basically a race against one another to try and get your rocket all the way leveled up basically um, and I love this game I love the um, complex of this game the first time I played this game at John and Zena's I was actually stupidly drunk and when I say stupidly drunk, to the point where I had no idea what I was doing, I had no idea of the concept of the game, and I won. Um, so yeah, I've played it again since and I haven't won, so maybe I'm better off playing this one drunk. Um, but yeah, that's the third game. Now, the last game that I got is this one. Now, I have never played this one before. Um, never heard of it I just thought I would get something completely new and for me and Kieran to try so this is called Mercado or Mercado I don't know how to explain it it's a really big box um again it's really heavy and this is two to four players and this is ages 10 and up and it is a 30 minute game um so this is false money and true status and it's basically it's day's market day and there are many beautiful things for sale You've got lots of coins in your purse to spend. Perhaps you are interested in a fine and precious tapestry, elegant shoes or a valuable golden goblet. Well, you're not alone in your desires. The market is full of wealthy people who also aspire to improve their reputations by purchasing the most highly cove coveted, 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 I don't know, merchandise. And that's how the competition begins. To win the merchant's favour and get the goods, you have to offer them the right coins from your purse before the other player beats you to it. Whoever plays the right coins first gets to take home the treasure. Hopefully you won't draw any pesky counterfeit coins from your purse because that's one way your plans might be thwarted in this exciting game of conspicuous consumption. So basically, from what I can gather on this is that you've got to race against the person to get certain things off of a market stall and make sure you're giving the correct deal and things like that. I don't really know the concept of the game, um, but I'm excited to try it. Um, and yeah, this was actually on sale. It was meant to be £40, but it was actually on sale at Zatu Games, which is a board game um, website that I use, for £10. And then Space Space was also on sale for £30. Um, so yeah, that's that. And yeah, that's a wrap. I do believe that is everything that I got for my birthday. I was extremely, really spoiled. And honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better birthday. Um, My birthday was so nice. It was just so good to have a birthday where I was able to be surrounded by friends and family again instead of what I had last year. And that was just being surrounded by myself. Um, so yeah, Kieran's nan and granddad also gave me £10 for my birthday, but I'm unsure on what to spend that as of yet. Um, I may put that towards our Belfast trip, which I could have done with my £40, but like I say, board games was just calling my mind. Um, so the £10 I definitely probably will put away for Belfast. Um, for, my, for, more, for me and Kieran when we go in February. But yeah. I'm so glad I've finally done this video now because it means I can finally put everything in its place. I can finally use my tripod for my phone and I can finally dodge into my gillians and play my games and wear what I want to wear. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching guys and I hope this has given you a few ideas 
for yourself and what to get people um or if you'd like to um obviously if you like anything here um to what to get yourself so yeah i do hope you enjoyed and i will see you all soon for another video bye guys